So today I'm talking about how you could recharge a window air conditioning unit and how you go about doing this if you wanted to. I thought I'd just break down the basics of what you would need, the tools, and the steps you would need in order to do this. And so a lot of people would just toss a window air conditioning unit, but you can be recharged if you wanted to. Of course, it might be better just to go buy a new one, but if you wanted to, they can be recharged like any HVAC system. They can be fixed and put back into working condition. And I'm going to put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But one of the problems with window air conditioning units is they don't have a service port where you can attach HVAC gauges to. So you're going to have to add one. And there's an easy way to do this. And it's with the bullet Schrader valve piercing, piercing kit. And they're pretty easy to, to attach. You just put these on the low pressure side and you just tighten them up. They, and as soon as you get it tight, it seals around here and it pierces into it. So you have a service port. That way you can attach hoses and things like this. These are low cost. They're like less than $10. I'll, I'll put a link down below if you need to look at one. But this is the easiest way to add a service port on there. If you had torches and you're good at brazing, you could do it that way too. But this is a really simple, quick, easy way just to add a service port onto a window air conditioning unit. And you're also going to need some other, some other tools. And, and so you're going to need the Schrader valve. You're going to have to get that attached. Uh, you're going to have to need the refrigerant usually R410A, but it's going to be on the nameplate of the unit. So you have to look on the, on the window air conditioner, look at the, at the plate that's on there, and it'll tell you what type of refrigerant it uses. Now, one of the problems is that most people won't be able to buy refrigerant since they don't have a EPA 608 card, but a lot of people are buying it on eBay and they're not asking for any EPA 608 card. So I guess anybody can buy it on there now. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm not affiliated with that at all, but if you get on eBay, you more likely can buy the refrigerant. And you're gonna need uh, some HVAC gauges or a recharge hose. No cost HVAC gauges for like 30 bucks. Like I said, I'm gonna put links down below for everything I'm talking about. You're gonna need a weight scale and you're gonna need a vacuum pump. And again, just low cost, cheap ones would work to get this done. But those are the basics of what you're gonna need. And before you start on any of it, first thing to do is to go out there and look at the nameplate that's on the unit and find out what kind of refrigerant you have. So it more likely is gonna be R410A, but you wanna make sure because you, you can't mix refrigerants. And you'll also see on there, you'll see how many pounds it uses. It'll be in pounds, like this one's right here, it's using 4.10 pounds. So that's important. That's how much, that's the exact amount that it needs so that it runs correctly and how much is gonna to have to be added in. So be sure to go look at the nameplate on the unit, find out the refrigerant type, and how much it holds in pounds. And so once you have all the right tools and the refrigerant and everything, you would go ahead, you'd attach the, the Schrader valve onto the low pressure side. You would take the blue hose from the HVAC gauge, you, know, you would attach it to the Schrader valve. You take the center yellow gauge and attach it to your vacuum pump. And then you would pump it down into a negative pressure. It needs to be set inside of a vacuum. So you have to pump it down, let it run for at least 15, 20 minutes or more. And that way it gets a real good deep vacuum and then turn off your vacuum pump and your gauges and then let it sit there for like 20, 30 minutes or so and be sure it doesn't lose its pressure because if it loses its pressure, then you have, a, you have a big leak going on and you need to solve it. You need to figure out what that is. So you want it to hold the negative pressure. You want it to sit. You could even let it sit overnight if you wanted to and come back and check it and be sure that it hasn't lost that pressure because if it does lose that pressure, then you have a, you have a good leak somewhere that you need to fix. And then to add the refrigerant in, you would take the yellow hose and you would attach it to the refrigerant tank so like here, this is R410A, it's being attached to it. You would turn the valve on and then you would flip the refrigerant upside down so that you get liquid coming out and you put it on, on a scale. And at this point, be sure to, to write down and do the math for how much refrigerant you got going in there. So for example, if you needed five pounds to go into the system, you know that it would, once it hit 18.145, then you know that'd be the amount. So basically just be prepared for what amount you would need to reach and write it down next to it or be sure to memorize it. And the blue hose should still be attached to the HVAC unit. You want to go ahead and turn the air conditioning on and let it run. And then by turning the blue valve on the HVAC gauges slowly, you can let in some refrigerant into the system. And you would slowly just add in the correct amount. You would just watch your scale. And as soon as it reaches a set amount, then you would be good. And you turn off the gauges. Like I said, I'm going to put links down below for everything I'm looking at here if you want to slow down and read it. But that's a basic overview of what you would do if you wanted to add refrigerant into an HVAC system. And another thing to mention is that you can also just slowly add in refrigerant. Some people would do this. And if you do do this, you needed the correct refrigerant type. So like if it's R410A, be sure that's R410A or else it's not gonna work very well. 
you would attach your hoses basically the same way, but instead of letting it in by, by weight, you would just add in a, a slow amount inside of small little increments. So you just let open your gauge for like one second, close it, and then see how well it cools. You could try to go off a temperature pressure gauge, but some air conditioning units have variable speed compressors and different things like this that can, so it might be a little touch and go on that. But basically you, you, do, you wouldn't want to add in too much refrigerant if you were doing it that way, because if you did, it wouldn't work. So you would just do it very slowly in small increments until it started cooling and then you would stop. But the main way and the official way that you would add in refrigerant into a window air conditioning unit is the way that I, the steps I laid out earlier. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of what you could do if you had a window air conditioning unit and you wanted to recharge it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.